Folks on Dauphin Island are getting ready to let the good times roll. The first parade of the Mardi Gras season kicks off tomorrow. It starts at 1 o'clock. It's already here. And WKRG News 5's Haley Kennedy is going to show you some of the floats before you see them in the parade. Stapling on the streamers, screwing on the last details, and making sure every float is decked out with beads. We are ready to kick it off. Crew de la Dauphine perfecting every last detail for the first Mardi Gras parade of the season. Let's party. It's Mardi Gras, baby. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> and they plan to take you back to the 80s. You are going to see some of the best TV shows, video games, uh, the jukeboxes, just anything 80s. These eight floats have been in the works for the past year. We work all year. We start in March and we work all throughout the year to make sure that everything is set up and ready to go for tomorrow. And they're expecting a big turnout of nearly 50,000 people on Dauphin Island. I would definitely recommend getting here at about 8, 9 o'clock. I know the island is not letting uh, people rope off the big spots anymore, so the earlier the better. All to make sure that you get the best spot to watch the good times roll. And if you want to catch the most throws, well, you will need to scream as loud as you can. <laughs> the parade begins at 1 o'clock at the Dolphin Island Sea Lab and will end at the Little Red Schoolhouse. Reporting on Dolphin Island, Haley Kennedy, WKRG News 5. Dauphin Island has the first two parades of the season. As we mentioned, Crew de la Dauphine is tomorrow at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Next Saturday, the Dauphin Island People's Parade. Mobile joins in on the fun Friday, January 26th with the Condi Cavaliers. WKRG News 5 has you covered this Mardi Gras season. We have an entire section on our website devoted to letting the good times roll. You'll find parade schedules for Mobile, Baldwin County, and Pensacola fall schedules and more. Simply Google and type in WKRG Mardi Gras.